Hey, what's up? I'm Allie and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be showing you the things that I got for Christmas. What I got for Christmas videos are some of my all-time favorite videos to watch. I love seeing the things that other people in someone's life gets them. I feel like it's just like an extra piece that we might not normally get to see and it gives a little more personality to the person. But also I think it's a really great way to get gift ideas for other people and maybe just like add to my wish list, you know, just never ending wish list. I'm going to break this up a little bit. I'm going to have like household things, electronics. We're going to have uh, clothing and books. So just a little bit of everything here today. First and foremost, I feel like I should start off with some of the home stuff since that's normally what I get the most of. I really just love home decor and just switching things up with the season. So getting extra things for that is really great. I'm going to be updating the look of my bedroom a little bit. It's not getting like a full makeover, but I just wanted to upgrade some of the different accents and stuff within there. And so one of the things is these green velvet curtains. I think that these are going to look amazing, especially because the window that they are going to go over looks into my plant room. So I feel like this is just going to add to all of the greenery already happening. These are super soft panels and I think that they are just going to really make it look more luxurious in there. Anyone who watched my mini like library makeover video knows that I am like somehow obsessed with green and orange together right now and I subconsciously did that for my bedroom as well. So this is like a burnt orange quilt for over my bed. I just wanted something um, it's kind of lighter but still warm because we all we have really are like these huge like duvets and whatnot. So I just wanted something a little more like throw on there. Good for the winter time but not like too much. So these together. These together are going to be a really good vibe and of course it will be cohesive to apparently what I'm doing with the rest of my house. So <laughs> most of these gifts are from my mom. Um, she also got me, this is a like holder and my plan is to put my makeup brushes. Right now I use three separate containers to put my makeup brushes in and I think it'd be nice to have like one cohesive thing. I love this one because it has like constellations and whatnot on it and it's black and beautiful. So I think that this is lovely. And another thing, this is gonna be more of a decorative piece, but this is like a little alarm clock and it actually has like the phases of the moon instead. And I love that it's kind of like this matte black. I love silver details. So I think that that is going to fit in quite nicely in my bedroom as well. We were out and about and I saw this statue when I was with my mom and I was obsessed. I have animal statues just like laying all around my house and I think that this is going to look so beautiful beside like a grouping of some of my plants and I just love it. I, I love that it's kind of like this metal and it's like kind of beat up looking and I just think it's really cute. Oh okay when we were also out and about we came across these pieces and I was obsessed. They were like the last two left and again I am absolutely loving green in my home decor lately and these are just beautiful. They are just absolutely stunning. I love that they are large and statement and they're, they kind of have a bit of like a 70s vibe to them. I feel they have like this ribbed texture and a little gold detailing on the bottom but I, I think that these are beautiful and stunning and I cannot wait to like display them somewhere on a mantle or something because oh, they are gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Also my mom got me this little it's a Halloween plate and it's black with gold detailing and it has an eyeball in the center. I think that this is so cute. It's gonna be such a statement piece to put up um, like on a shelf in my kitchen. I'll probably <laughs> put it up like year round. I think it's adorable. I love Halloween-y, Halloween type stuff. So 
I am always talking about how neat it would be to have black silverware to just like fit in with my aesthetic and just be just quite beautiful and amazing. So my mom actually got me black silverware, <laughs> a whole set of black silverware. So I'm not going to take them out of the box just yet, but they are kind of, they're really shiny. They're actually more of like a dark gray almost. It's just like the material of them makes them look a little more dark gray, but I am glad to have a beautiful goth style, <laughs> style cut cutlery for me. I did get three mugs for Christmas, one of which is this Dead by Daylight mug. For anyone who doesn't know, Dead by Daylight is my all-time favorite video game. Uh, I stream it on Twitch every week. It is just so much fun. I love playing with my friends, and uh, Brian ended up getting me this, this DVD mug combine some of my two favorite loves together. So I'm very excited to have this. Can't wait to have it on stream and drink my spicy water out of it as well. I did redo my kitchen this year. I did it in a video and my mom actually helped me with a lot of the kitchen makeover and she got me these mugs that match. She got me these mugs that match the color combo of my kitchen. These fit in perfectly. These look so gay great. I hang them uh, for decor. This one actually has my coffee in it right now. So these are beautiful match blend just right in. Sticking a bit with the kitchen theme, Brian's mom actually got us these really heavy duty coasters and they are like a marble and then they have like blue stones put into them. These are really heavy. When I went to open them, I was like, is this a freaking brick? But these are gonna be lovely. I mean, I, the tones in my house are green, orange, and blue. So these will fit in and they're really nice. And then a gift that just absolutely perplexed everyone when it was opened on Christmas, no one, <laughs> knew what it was. It looked like a mouse pad in the bag, but these are actually craft pads. They are like a silicone. So if you're using like a hot glue or paint or something, it can wipe right off. It won't ruin your surface. So I do a good amount of crafting. This was a kit of like three of them. So uh, hopefully they will keep my surfaces safe and uh, it's good for when I do my nails as well. So keep the gel off of my main desk space. I did get a few uh, clothing, pieces of clothing. Uh, my mom got me, this is like a one piece, like a jumpsuit type thing. And it's so funny because I actually own this already, but I paint in it all the time. So it'd be nice to have one that I can actually wear out that isn't covered in paint. And it's really, it's really comfy. It's really flattering to wear because it, you can cinch in the waist as much as you want, or you can leave it unbuttoned. So it's, I really love this style. I love a good one piece. I love overalls, anything like that. Like old time workers chic. Mom also got me this super beautiful sweater. It is a very small like turtleneck. It's got like this frilled edge to it. And then the sleeves are actually like a mesh with these like pom-poms sewn in. And then it comes in at the end and cinches together. Very kind of Victorian-esque. Y'all know these are like my favorite to wear. I cannot wear it. I'm probably gonna have this in like every video this year because it is stunning. Brian uh, has a NASA sweatshirt that I steal from him all the time. So he got me my own. <laughs> so I would stop stealing his, but mine's better because it has this vintage look to it instead of like the normal kind of just NASA across it. So it's really comfy, it's really cozy. Sweatshirts are my favorite clothing item to wear. So now my second favorite clothing item to wear are beanies. And my mom ended up getting me two different types of beanies. One is a super metallic one. And then it has a big <laughs> furry ball on top, but this I'm sure will be adorable. Oh, she's an attention getter. 
So I love that it is kind of um, a pretty neutral metallic. And then the other one is this gray blue one. Also has the nice furry ball on top. And then this one also has a really plush inside that just looks so cozy and warm. Um, I do have a lot of beanies that are mostly for looks, but I do need some for warmth because it does get really cold where I live. So this will be so good. Oh my God, it's so warm. And for anyone who has ever noticed, the only jewelry I really wear all the time are rings. And Brian actually got me a brand new ring to wear all encased into it. It's really lovely, really cozy <laughs> for me. I am obsessed with skulls. It matches. It actually matches the other ring that I have that is a coffin that has something enclosed in it. So I love it. Ooh, technology, very quickly. One, the tripod that I'm using, Brian's mom got me a heavy duty tripod. I was using a little rinky dinky tripod before and it was threatening to fall over. I got myself a like $2,000 camera so I didn't want it sitting on like a rinky dinky little tripod. So I'm very happy to have this very sturdy, heavy duty tripod to put y'all on. So Ryan's mom also got me a switch cover. This is a hard cover that just snaps on to my switch. And it is this beautiful like dark teal. You're gonna see my fingerprints all over it. <laughs> I have greasy fingers, I can't help it. But it's this beautiful dark teal. I am obsessed with this color. This is the color of my kitchen. It's lovely, it was really easy. It just like snaps right on. It came with these really cute Joy-Con covers as well, like these little paw prints. And it's just really adorable. It's really nice to hold. It actually has like these little handles on it that aren't normally on the Switch. So it is really nice. My only complaint about this is that I have a hard time reaching the buttons for the case. So I have button stickers coming that will make those stick out a little bit more. So, and probably the gift. I was the most excited about and am so incredibly grateful to have. My mom got this for me. I've been wanting one of these for quite some time. I think it's just really going to up my vlogging game. Uh, that is a gimbal. And for those who don't know, a gimbal basically, like you can put your camera on it and move with it and it keeps it steady so it's not like, all over the place. Um, it's a pretty expensive piece of equipment. And I love that this one has like this like wooden-esque handle. It's actually really heavy. I know this is gonna take a lot of learning to get used to. Um, there's like all these button features and stuff that I don't know anything about. So I'm definitely gonna be practicing around with this, especially because I'm hoping to do a lot more traveling in the future. So I am so, incredibly grateful. Thank you, mom. Thank you, mom, so much for this gimbal. I think it's just gonna really like up my game. I'm so excited. Oh, I didn't know this moved. Oh, I didn't know that moved. Okay, anyway, I'm definitely gonna need a lot of playing around with this. And then the last group of things that we need to get to are the books that I got. Now, I did get myself a few things for Christmas, one being my super expensive freaking camera. And I also got myself the Green Bone Saga. This was the Illumicrate Special Edition Green Bone Saga. This came with character bookmarks. I'm sure you've seen official unboxings because these did, did come a while ago, but these came with character bookmarks. A souvenir plate. I am not going to be opening this up because again, uh, people did more official unboxings and then it came with this pin set as well, which beautiful as always. And then the most important thing, I always, I never realized when I order these special edition boxes that they come with like other things. So most of the time, like those are such a surprise to me because I just don't pay attention. But the main thing are these gorgeous, gorgeous books. Now I paid a pretty penny for these, as you can imagine, um, but they are stunning. So we have the first one, which is Jade City. Now these are only hardcover, they don't come with the dust jacket, and then they are in, like kind of embossed with this type of foiling, and then they also have 
They also have stenciled edges on the pages as well. This one on the back says, On My Honor. And they are just absolutely beautiful. So they are also signed. So that is just, that one's Jade City. After Jade City, I believe we have Jade Legacy. I believe. I might be wrong here. Does this say, does this have a number? And also Jade War is red. Again, stunning. And they, then they all kind of have the same design on the side. Just it matches the color of the book. This is the whole... Oh my god, I almost had a heart attack. This is like the whole set of them together. They are gorgeous and beautiful and so sturdy and lovely. So I'm glad that I hopped on this. Have I read them yet? No. But I am fully expecting to love them based on the fact that like everyone else in the world loves these books. So. And then the other book that I gifted myself is Me and White Supremacy, a guided journal. I have the actual book out from the library, but this is just the journal where you write in the daily prompts that go along with the book. So um, I, I'm going to be doing this throughout 2022. And yeah, I honestly didn't receive a ton of books for Christmas because my TBR is just so massive <laughs> that it's like, you know what? I don't need to ask for a lot. I also tend to use Scribd a lot of the time so I don't really tend to think about getting physical books as much as I feel like I do I have in the past but we'll see I love having books that like I love or I know I'm gonna love or I know I'm gonna want to annotate so I did ask for a few that I feel like fall into that category it's a lore olympus and this is volume one i love this cover this is just the normal cover i think barnes and noble had a special edition cover but this one i think is the most beautiful can you focus on that camera i think this one honestly is the most beautiful uh i've been reading this since it pretty much began it is it started, its origins are on Webtoon. I'm still subscribed on there. I still follow along, but this is a Hades and Persephone's retelling. It is a graphic novel, and the artwork in it is just absolutely, the artwork in it is just absolutely stunning. It is gorgeous. I love the colorings of it. I love how bright and fun it is, but also like the characters are very monotone, and it's just absolutely absolutely beautiful so i am so excited i cannot wait i hope they make even more webtoons into books specifically sub-zero someone make it happen that is my all-time favorite webtoon but just saying and then my mom also got me the death of jane lawrence but this this right here is the most beautiful cover of all time the most beautiful cover of all time. I, I'm obsessed. Absolutely obsessed. The hands, the nails, the jewelry, the threads. Beautiful. So this is a gothic tale that is kind of Crimson Peak inspired. This is about a woman who marries a man, but the agreement is basically that like she, I don't think she has to live with him necessarily but she ends up on the night of their wedding something happens and he thinks that she is like there to haunt him he has like lost all his senses he's very paranoid and then by morning he's normal again and she's like all right what the hell is happening in this house so then she is stuck trying to figure out what is going on in this house and if they are truly in fact being haunted or going crazy so i have heard pretty mixed things but i had to own this cover i had to own this it is the most stunning cover of all time also got a cursed ash i'm so excited oh my god if you don't know this is julie's book this is julie's book julie from pages and pen here on pages and pens here on youtube she is an amazing human being and I have no doubt that her book is also going to be amazing. This is a fae story and it is about a, a witch 
who has to do with the Fae, ends up being magically tied. Her fate is like tied somehow in the Fae world. And she ends up with her, her Fae fiance, refuses to leave her side. But there's also another stranger who enters her life and also wants to go help her like fight against her, against, I guess her fate in this curse. And they're both willing to die for her. And Aunt Julie has said, that there are essentially two love interests in this. And you, sh our main character doesn't have to give up one for the other. I'm sorry, what? Two hot fey men and you don't gotta give one up? Okay. Okay. So I am so excited about this. I plan on tabbing this and annotating this and I just feel it is going to be absolutely amazing. I will leave a link to Julie's channel down below so you can check it out. She does a lot of writing sprints and whatnot on her channel as well and talks a lot about her writing and publishing journey. So if you're interested, go check out Julie's, Julie's channel. And then I also got a veil of truth and trickery. And this I believe is kind of like a court of thorns and roses, but also has a harem involved. So that is basically what I've heard. Um, I am doing a kind of like buddy read, read along with a few other people in January with this book. So we're going to see how it goes. We will see. <laughs> I hope it is fantastic. And then the last group I have here are actually gifts from you all. So I have three things here, two of which are books. So first one is from Leanne Reads and I am going to leave a link to their channel down below. Uh, I, she so kindly reached out to me and asked for a book recommendation and I, she was very patient because I take 10 years to respond to anyone and I'm so sorry. I just forget what I'm doing all the time. And she sent me this as like a thank you, which was totally unexpected. I had no clue. I feel so undeserving, but uh, I will leave a, ch a link to her channel down below. I believe that she is going to be making videos, reading some of the book recommendations that she got, but this one is The Silence of the Girls. And this is, I believe about, this is a like mythology retelling about Helen. I believe. It actually follows Briseis. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. I read Song of Achilles. Asked me to pronounce this woman's name. I don't know. But basically she is made a bed slave to Achilles. And this is kind of like how she has kind of been written as almost like a footnote within mythology. However, she has a story of her own to tell. And it's much different on her side and about like the strength and the wisdom of the women soldiers rulings and how she deals with that and then the very lovely becca becca back in the books our amazing queen sent me the crown of gilded bones and this is this is the third in a Blood and Ash series. I really enjoyed the first one. I've started the second one and I'm very excited to get to this third one. It is such a hype series around here. It is a fantasy romance series, pretty heavy romance series. And it is about Poppy. She is the maiden. No one can look at her. No one can touch her kind of deal. And she just wants to like go and live her life, but she's not allowed. She's not allowed. And basically we're in this fantasy world where it's like anyone outside the gates um, is kind of been like, they're like um, like kind of vampire-esque. And we've been warned that they are bad. They are bad people. So she's being protected. The city keeps coming under attack and she ends up having to get a new bodyguard. Well, her bodyguard is really hot. And also he's just like, she can't help but really fall under his charm. She was so charmed by him. So when something happens and she has to go to the city to go to her ascension, essentially, he goes with her and things happen along the way. Oh, it's such a fun ride. And for being as thick as these are, they are extremely quick reads. They just fly by. There's just so much suspense happening. So thank you so much, Becca. I love you. I love you. I tried to order something from your wish list and there was nothing left. So everyone is treating you so well. And then the very last thing, I feel like I have to save this thing for last because 
I like cried, okay? I posted my Etsy wish list and Chris so extremely kindly made it possible for me to order one of the things off of my Etsy wish list. <gasps> oh my God, it's beautiful. I, I cried when Chris messaged me and told me to go ahead and order this for myself and made it possible for me to get this. This has been on my wish list for so long. I cannot wait to start my <laughs> bug collection on my wall. This is the Death Heads Hawk Moth. Some people might recognize it from the Silence of the Lambs movie cover, but it is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to put this on my wall. I am just so in awe. Thank you so much, Chris. Chris is always just so incredibly too kind for to me and just amazing and Thank you so much. Love you, Chris. Thank you. I am forever grateful for all the good things that you have brought into my life. That is a good chunk of the stuff that I got for Christmas. And hopefully this has been eye-opening to some of the things that I apparently enjoy <laughs> in life. Let me know one of your favorite gifts or most surprising gifts that you got this year. I love knowing what people got. I think, I just think it's so much fun. I love watching these videos. If you've made one of these videos, feel free to link it down below because I would love to watch it. If you have liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to see future videos from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.